So I'm making another video uh, because I moved it to Tuesday, so still doing one a week. Either way, you know, hi! So something that I was thinking about recently was this idea of sayings that people say or sayings that you use in everyday life that like don't really make sense when you actually think about it. And no offense, but old people are particularly guilty of this, at least more so than young people. The thing that got me started was saying it's within walking distance. Isn't that kind of a stupid thing to say because technically speaking, isn't everything within walking distance, you know, as long as you're not going to be a lazy ass about it. If you wanted to walk all the way to Melbourne from Sydney, you could do that. Like, it wouldn't typically be what you'd call walking distance. You could walk 500 miles and then 500 more. But I would walk 500 miles. And there sure as hell wouldn't be any distance police that are going to show up and stop you. Because the last time I checked, I could walk wherever the hell I wanted and it's still not illegal. Another one. You're the apple of my eye. With the exception of one friend, I can't think of anybody who likes apples that much that you would refer to somebody being the center of your attention, the beauty in your life as being the apple of your eye. I don't know anybody who loves apples that much for it to be an allegory for somebody who's really special to them. Secondly, why the eye? Like, since when do apples have any relation to the optic nerve? I suppose in context with them loving somebody it makes sense, but still, another one is uh, straight from the horse's mouth. Like, this is one of those things that, like, yeah, I just really wonder how it came into being. Like, who decided that this was going to be a saint? I mean, was there a time in the past where horses were, like, really reputable sources of information? Was there, was there a dude who just decided that horses were just really trustworthy in moments of uncertainty? I don't know, man. Should I buy the house or should I buy the car? What did Seabiscuit say? I mean, at least dogs have Lassie. When was the last time Seabiscuit tried to help anybody out of a well? Another one that I've caught myself saying quite often and that I've caught people saying to me is actually, um, beggars can't be choosers. Since when did anybody's financial capacity start to infringe on their ability to exact free will? Now, I understand that the saying is, you know, like, you should appreciate what you have and you shouldn't demand more when something is given to you, but, you know, Oh, hey man, I got you a ham sandwich. Man, I don't like ham sandwiches. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Screw you, man! I'm 22! I can do what I want! Another one relating to money is, uh, this is like an old timer saying. I've never actually heard anybody say it recently, but, uh, when somebody's been doing really successful, they might say something like, Oh, yeah, he's been making money hand over fist. One last one, which isn't really a saying, but it's just something that I saw on the internet that kind of like bothered me. Somebody posted, I think it's, I think it's supposed to be a motivational poster, and it just says, you know, you have as many hours in your day as Beyonce, so what are you going to do about it? Yeah, because that's, that's all it is. It's just how many hours in your day. It's got nothing to do with, you know, her fame and her money and her husband Jay-Z and all her music awards, and Destiny's Child, and rests. Either way, just something that came across my mind, and I promised I'd make a video. So there you go. Uh, I really need to find something to do with my life. Yeah!